giant sack covers baby's face, but when doctors remove it parents weep at sight underneath. Being prepared for anything is part of the parenting game, and no one knows this better than 46-year-old Valika Regal who, during her prenatal ultrasound, found out that her unborn son had a rather unusual condition. Zachary Regal was born with a rare defect covering the majority of his face with a sac. Also known as encephalocell, this sac is where the brain tissue collects when a baby's skull doesn't close all the way during development in the womb. According to statistics from the CDC, 1 in 12,200 babies is born with some form of encephalocell each year. So even though Zachary was born healthy in all other aspects, when Valika first saw him, she told today, she couldn't help but cry. Only a large protrusion and tiny little lips, no eyes, no nose, no eyelashes. Not that these features didn't exist, but the baseball-sized sack was hiding it all from sight. At Cincinnati Children's Hospital Medical Center, 22 doctors, who had been monitoring Zachary's prenatal diagnosis, took on the challenge to fix his condition post-delivery. A little sling helped carry the weight of the sack, and helped Zachary breathe and eat on his own. After four months in the NICU with the sling, Zachary was old enough to undergo the nine-hour surgery to remove the growth and repair the gap in the skull. It is hard to imagine just how Valico was able to keep a positive outlook through all of this. Thankfully, the surgery was successful and when Valico first saw Zachary without the sack, I just cried because I didn't know he had such beautiful long eyelashes and big brown eyes. They were perfect on both sides. He was so unrecognizable, but in the best way possible. A smiling child who somehow knew that what he had lived through was extraordinary. But even a good change is still a change and according to Valerka it took getting used to for both mom and baby. I had come to fall in love with this little boy with this big ball on his face. He always played with it. The first couple of days, he kept swatting at his face, like wait a second, I'm not seeing it, I'm not feeling it, feeling it.